Hey guys, John Madden, YouGoProBaseball.com, and today we're going to talk about release point and where the best spot is to be at on release point. Now, obviously there's tons of different, if you watch a major league game, there's going to be guys with tons of different mechanics. They're going to look all very different, but one thing that they all do very similar is they transfer their force efficiently through their release point and the best position to be in at release point. Now I know a lot of coaches say, reach out there, get extended here. Well, this is not a good release point. The actual best release point is gonna be in a straight line, right when you release that ball out of the fingers, straight down this arm, straight down the back. Now this is gonna be in sometimes, bent in, and then that line, that straight line continues back down that heel. Obviously you're gonna be off the mound a little bit, and have gained some ground, probably a little bit more than that, and that line's gonna continue down. Now, what a lot of these pitchers do also very well at uh, release point is the front leg is gonna be almost fully straight, or it is gonna be fully straight at release point, and they're gonna use it as leverage to pitch against, just like you do when you're hitting. All right, so I got a couple examples here. First, I've got Verlander, uh, and you can see from this picture here that Verlander does a good job of what I was talking about, and that's gaining some ground off of the off of the rubber, and then efficiently transferring that force in a straight line. That's how you can tell if he's efficiently done that in a straight line from his heel, up his butt, up his back, all the way to the release point. And that's when I pause this uh, uh, video or image um, to see where he was at the second the ball came out. And you can see he's in a perfect straight line. He gained some ground. I also drew a line there at where the rubber is. And you can see he's gained a significant amount of ground uh, there. And that means he got to a maximum back leg extension and really drove off that mound. Um, and you can also see his front leg like I was talking about. And he's fully, fully straight at release point. Um, so you can see he's definitely using that front leg as leverage to pitch against. And that's probably a good reason why he throws so hard. Uh, the next example I got here, which is a totally different style pitcher, and this, uh, this video I took this image from was when he was back in his prime doing his thing. Um, I know he's, he's not, uh, not doing as well as he used to, but uh, very, very different from Verlander. This is Tim Lincecum, um, and he, you can see, his, he, gets, he does the same thing. He gains a lot of ground off of the rubber but he efficiently transfers all the force that he's created through his release point. And you can see his angle is different from Verlander's, meaning he's a lot more, uh, he gets a lot more extended, but his line is still perfect, just like Verlander's. It goes through his heel, up his butt, up his back, up his arm, right through his release point. So although they are different and they get to different spots, they're the same in that they, They've both transferred their force efficiently, and that's why these guys are able to throw so hard, not to mention his front leg, where he, again, he's he's not fully straight, it doesn't look like, but he's pretty darn close. So uh, you can see he's using that front leg as leverage, too. Uh, the last example I got is uh, Matt Moore from the Tampa Bay Rays, and he's having a hell of a year this year, and he's got great mechanics. I love looking at his mechanics. He gets amazing back leg extension. You can see he's got a huge, gained a bunch of ground in the back there, and at release point, he's in a perfect spot. Line goes straight up through his heel, his butt, his back, and up his arm. And he's totally straight on his front leg, just like Verlander was. Um, so these, these three guys, and there's many, many more examples. Uh, I just don't want to bore you all day with these, but many more examples of how big league pitchers efficiently transfer their force, gain some good ground, and use their front leg as leverage. So try it. Videos tape yourself see where you're at pause it when you're when you get when that ball leaves your fingers and see where you're at if you're a little bit too far you're losing some power if you're throwing it to a little bit too far back you're going to be losing some velocity so check it out that's the best spot to be in for your release point I hope this helped please subscribe and join the free newsletter at yougoprobaseball.com and i look forward to any comments you have thanks guys if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and then join the free newsletter at yougoprobaseball.com.